Imtishan from Motoring Middle East and welcome to the mad bad world of the Morgan three-wheeler which yes actually is a car and also can be registered as a motorcycle for the curious among you. So what is the Morgan three-wheeler? Well as you can see it's got three wheels. Morgan has history doing this. They actually been making cars since the 30s and they started with three wheelers and they only went to four wheelers sometime after the war which they are still fond of. So if you notice the engines out the front this is a Harley Davidson two-cylinder V-twin so normally in a Harley it sort of sits between your legs like that which is I'm not going to demonstrate. Um, the engine is outside the car because it's an air-cooled engine like a Porsche but it doesn't perform like a Porsche. It's got your simple round headlights, cycle car style wheels, inboard suspension. I mean this is about as basic as motoring gets. If you notice you can see the exhaust they go out the side and they are this whole car is styled like a Spitfire. It's basically like a World War II fighter plane but it is still wood underneath sort of aluminium panels laid on top of it. Oh by the way don't touch this, it's very hot, you will burn your leg, so don't wear shorts like me, it's going to end badly for you. As you can see, the single wheel at the back, and believe it or not, it's actually quite stable, unlike a Land Robin or something, this doesn't feel like it's going to flop around and fall over, it just drives like a car. I mean, you can toss it in hard, and it doesn't not going to lean over at all, amazing thing. Because this car is hand-built in Malvern, by a very dedicated team of people who have not quite got mass production values right, so the lines don't always line up right, it's not always a little bit straight, it's a little bit crooked, but you know what, that's fine. For charm, you can't beat this car, it is better than a Ferrari, frankly speaking. Let's go to the interior where there is absolutely ready to talk about, but first, let me try to get into the car. So, one, two, okay, right. Okay, hands, please don't fall down. Okay, then bum in, and here we are. As you can see, Morgan doesn't believe in instrumentation, so these are aircraft style dials from VDO. And this is your entire range of switchgear on indicators. Actually, no, this is hazards. These are lights, which I shouldn't turn on because it will drain the battery. These are fog lights. This is a handbrake, and it's the fly-off style. So if I pull it like this, it just flies off. Putting it back is a real pain sometimes. The S-Box is a five-speed manual. So actually, this drives like a car. It's got pedals. It's got this huge steering wheel, which actually obstructs your vision. Nothing moves. These seats are fixed. And USB ports don't have any. AC doesn't have any, roof doesn't have any, so this is very much a spring car. But you know, I've been driving around, it's perfectly fine. So what is it like to drive? Well, the three-wheeler is in a class by itself because cars like this aren't made anymore. This is a car from the 1920s in design, concept and execution, and it's very visceral. There aren't cars like this that can simply go into a corner and feel like you're going to fall out of it. But it is very fun. It's not very fast. It's about 80 brake horsepower from the front mounted engine and about a similar foot pounds of torque. But it's very torquey. There's not a lot of power per se, but it's all torque. It's very easy to drive. It's very fun. It's quite understeery because the two wheels at the front are quite narrow. It's oversteery if you lay into the loud pedal. But basically, for more, you're going to have to find out my full review on motoringme.com. So I'm going to start off and see you, tell you what it seems like, which is process, by the way. So indicator on. Immobilizer, flip up the switch, pop itself, 